something special, something I could help people with, but it ended up being a joke. Everyone started calling me Speedo. That's one of them guys' swimsuits. Not a very flattering one either. Have you seen a guy in a Speedo? Yuck. How fast are you? You know that pen that was in your pocket a second ago? Yeah. There it is. That is fast. How about a chocolate fudge candy bar with almonds? That's what everyone wants me to do is fetch things. I should be called Aaron Boy. And that is why you want to get rid of your power. This burden that haunts you, it's a curse. Yes? I can do that for you. I can take away this curse forever. Rough. I wasn't barking. Oh. Just thinking about how rough a day I've had. That's why you're here. Yeah, but I have things to do, crime to fight. I can't wait around here all day. You don't have a choice. Grr. There'll be no scratching, no biting. Everyone, please wait your turns. How did she stop you? Mind powers. She's got mind powers more powerful than you can imagine. Our powers are useless around her. Where did you come from? I am Shade. I come from the shadows. More like behind the chairs. How long have you been there? Long enough to know what's really going on around here. What is going on around here? The doctor is taking away our powers. Not only can she stop us, she can Take away our powers. Forever. Nice dramatic pause. Personally, I'm tired of all the hairballs. She can have my powers. I do get tired of smelling everything. You smell like you've been hiding there for a long time. We have to escape. But how? Shh, she's coming. Never have to worry about flying again. I guess it's time to hang out my cave. Stay off the rooftops, or we'll have to have another session. No, never again, please. I promise. Well then, I guess we won't be scheduling the fall then. Never again, please. Next. Look, I want to be able to go to the beach again without having the urge to use the bathroom. I want to go swimming again. And I'm tired of all the naps. Please, doctor, take me next. This way. The doctor took your powers. I think so. Try flying. No, I promise. Get on that chair and try. I promise never to fly again. I don't want to go back in there. Please don't make me look horrible. What does the doctor do to you? I can't say it was too terrible. Get on that chair and try and let's know if she really took your powers. Or else what? Or else I'll haunt you till the day you die. You know, I can be pretty scared. The doctor is scary. You're just super annoying. Fine. You know what I need, Joe? Of course.
doctor did it. She really can take our powers. Let's try the window to be sure. No, no. Bye! Did you have to do that? Yes. Yes, we did. No, no. But, um, we had to make sure it was just a temporary power jam of being near the doctor. shoulders. You feel like that you have to take care of all the world's evils, but I can change that for you. Don't listen to her. It's part of the mind games. Get what she needs, though. It's so hard sometimes. I feel like there's so much evil in the world and nothing I can do to solve it. Snap out of it, girl. All right, how are you feeling? Awesome. I'm going surfing. Hang ten, dudes. The way of the world is off her shoulders now. She's happy. Being a hero isn't about happiness. Then what is it about? It's about changing the world and making it a better place. And how you change the world? Is it a better place? Well, no, not yet. Anyone can change the world. You don't have to have superpowers. Ugh, I am so tired of hearing about that bat guy. Give me a few billion dollars for gadgets and I'd be pretty powerful too. I'm saying that ordinary people can make a difference. <laughs> She's got a point though. Ordinary people making a difference? What about policemen, nurses, teachers? They all make a difference. She's got a point. Don't listen to her. She's twisting your minds. Blah, blah, blah. Her words will destroy us. Or maybe they'll make you better. You'll have to catch me first. So, who's next? Will the world really be okay without supers? The world can fix their own problems. You guys are always looking for problems and the people are never satisfied with, with your work. They're just too demanding. It's never enough. It's true. Is never enough. But I can fix it. I can take away your powers forever. And then there was one. Looks like we finally met our match. Cars anymore. That's been nice. How are you? Having a hard time fitting in. It's hard to be normal. How are you, dog girl? Doug. My name is Doug. So how's life, Doug? It's been better. I mean, I'm not living in my parents' basement anymore. I got a job. Not a great one, but I feel good taking care of myself. I got so wrapped up in helping other people, I wasn't helping myself. But now I am, and I feel better, and people are treating me better too. Must be nice. But I thought you liked going to the beach, surfing, no more hairballs. Can't swim. And when I did learn how to swim, there was this huge shark. It was catching. 
I would have had the shark for lunch, but the Sissy Jones, I was nearly eaten. <sighs> Thank you all for coming to the support group today. Have a seat, everyone, today. We're all going to be discussing our feelings and our process. change in order for the therapy to work, but I was hoping that Jack would be able to see how much progress you're making, and then she'll be convinced enough to participate with us. You'll never defeat me, Doctor. Never. Then you won't mind seeing if you have nothing to fear. Fear? I'm not afraid. Prove it. Sit. I have formed it so that we can discuss the transition period of your life. What is this, crazy anonymous? Super anonymous, amazing anonymous. Nothing amazing, just a group of people having a chat. Amazing was so much better. Doctor, the evil plan only dooms doom upon us. Hmm. You don't feel doomed, do you, Doug? No, it's been a little better but not special. Exactly. And people might, have, people might have thought I was weird, but at least they respected me. And I had a purpose. Now I feel empty. And that's why you're here. To fill you with something new. More experiments? I knew it. To replace our blood with alien goo. <laughs> no. I developed a 12-step program. You're kidding, right? Step one, we admit that we do not have powers and that this belief is making our lives unmanageable. But some of our lives are not better. They will be soon. Where's the doctor? Another satisfied customer. What's the matter? You can't sit down and talk about it? You ruined my life. That seems to be the theme of the day. Carol, calm down and join our circle. <laughs> Your circle of evil? You no. all are all online villains. Hey now, zip it. Or else what, fly girl? Trust this. <laughs> Carol, please, let's talk about this. Talk, 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 that's all you want to do. So much my head hurts. Now it's my turn. Kick, talk, kick, talk. Nice play on words. Thanks, Shay. You're right about the doctor here. She's pure evil. Then let's take her hand. No, I'm gonna get rid of, rid of all of you forever. Throwing me out a window. How could you? You don't need to kill anyone. Let's just let justice take its course. We need evidence. We're just gonna talk our way out of it. Carol! I'm a doctor! Nothing else! Calm down, Carol. Caper! Call me Caper! I refuse to call you by a name that is you, Carol. Come on, Doc, humor her. I refuse to back out my principles in the face of death. Great. Doctor is trying to score points with the afterlife, which she'll soon be seeing. Please, I'm young. I haven't lived my life. There's so much life I want to live. Um, I guess. Did I really be such a wrong that I can't have one little request before I die? I guess not. Please. What is it? It's embarrassing. Can I whisper it? Siren, shake! Now! Got it. I brought the cups. We should form a team. A superhero support group. I like it. She doesn't look so good. She needs a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Yes.
shadows frozen in the sky.